environmental justice research was primarily on communities, looking at the spatial distribution of demographics, pollution sites, landfills, and so forth. And so many of my students also did our environmental justice work on communities. I was invited to participate in a proposal uh, by the executive director of the Duwamish River Cleanup Coalition, who at the time was B.J. Cummings. And she was looking for another partner to propose to the Environmental Protection Agency, who had a, a competition called um, Collaborative Problem Solving for Environmental Justice. And I was enthusiastically um, joined that group. And the reason um, I wasn't enthusiastic because of the topic that we had to grapple with, but the fact that this was really the first time I was going to be able to work with the community. And so I began to make that kind of transition from, you know, just outreach and informing to collaborating with and shared leadership. Um, and so that was um, a great opportunity. That started in 2014. Um, and many of my students also got involved, graduate and undergraduate students. And that transition um, is also an important part of, of what I teach about environmental justice, is typically an environmental or policy analyst is doing outreach and informing. They're not facilitating and they're not educating, right? They're sharing their expertise. and. Uh, I mean, ultimately, I leave that up to the students where they're going to find themselves professionally and where they're comfortable with. But I've certainly moved towards the shared leadership, and now even the, there's a continuum of community engagement that, you know, you just have the outreach on one side of the continuum, but then on the other side, the m deepest kind of community engagement is when it's community-driven. And so that is where I've recently progressed, I think, now myself professionally and some of my students because the research that we're doing is very much because of concerns of a community. And that research challenge happens to be noise pollution. There's a lot of noise pollution, especially with the traffic from the airport in Seattle and the newer flight path takes lots of planes over Beacon Hill at very low altitudes, sometimes 1,200, 1,300 feet. And, ev and those planes are every two minutes, every three minutes. We were invited to join the, the newest uh, collaborative problem solving grant with the Beacon Hill Environmental Health Coalition. But instead of looking at uh, chemical and toxic pollution, we're focusing on noise pollution. You just don't have the kind of noise pollution um, anywhere else in Seattle because this, these are communities that are fighting another kind of environmental injustice. You know, getting out in, in communities burden with an injustice is critical. But you just can't go do that. Understanding a really broad and historical context of the injustice that you're working on in not just you know, individual terms, but also institutional terms. Never do social justice work on communities. Do social justice work with communities. You know, the theory kind of gets left sometimes, you know, at the door or uh, on the street uh, for good reason, and it's um, about getting out there and collaborating. And I think the other, the other key part of that is going in with an attitude to serve, but also, more importantly, to learn and listen, right? As academics, we are so accustomed to talking and others listening to us, right? Because of our students and our classes, that's normally what kind of happens. Um, but I think to do this kind of work, you're the student. You have to take on that mindset of uh, 
not just serving, but learning. And listening is so critical to that. Really f uh, important for me as an individual going into the communities in South Seattle for the first time was to ask the question, what kinds of environmental injustices are you experiencing? And then just listening. Never interjecting, never clarifying some thing they said that wasn't quite right, just listening. Um, and I think that's been a, a real key to making um, the collaborations uh, successful that I've been involved with.